Hey everybody, welcome back to another Zach Vlogs. Today is Wednesday, and today is probably one of the best days I've had here in, in California since I got here, and let me tell you why. Okay, so this morning, uh, so you know the past like two two times or whatever, um, when I tried to have the meeting with the Warner Brothers guy, he's been he's been too busy. Um, uh, turns out like he was super busy one week and then he broke his toe, um, so he was out, um, which is fine. It's cool um, because today we had the meeting and it was amazing. Let me tell you why. So today we had the meeting and um, we had the, the pleasantries of you know like. How you doing out here? Welcome to LA. How do you like it? You know, how's it going? You know, do you have a job? Okay, cool. Best Buy. Do you have a place to live? No, you should probably find one. All that, you know, the the, the pleasantries of, of just being courteous and everything like that, which was which was great. It was a good conversation. Um, talking about like what I wanted to do and everything like that. And he goes, Look, you know, I can't I can't really like just give you a job. I, I don't have that kind of power. I'm not able to just do that. Um, and I was like, Pfft. I don't care. Like, I wasn't expecting you to just give me a job anyway. I was just help, hoping for, like, advice or help or whatever. He's like, but, you know, like, if you can get yourself, like, an interview or something, I can I can see what I can do. I can put in, like, give you, like, a, like a hey, he's a good guy type of thing, and, and it'll help. So, you know, I was like, dude, that's awesome. Thank you so much. He's like, man, I wish I could do more to help. And I was like, dude, you're already doing, like, enough. I know you're super busy. You're taking the time to talk to me. Like, I'm not expecting anything because you're just awesome just doing this. And he goes, well, what if I could get you on the studio lot just like whenever you needed to, like whenever you wanted to. I was like, what do you mean, like like get a tour? And he goes, no, no, no. I mean like like you have a pass. You're allowed to walk around as long as you're not like causing trouble and going on sets while they're filming. Would you would that, Would you want to do that? I was like, uh-huh, uh-huh, yes, yes, I do. I really, really do. And so he's like, all right, cool. Like just whenever you need one, just, just give me a holler. I was like, oh, my dude. And I was freaking out. And I was like, can I do that today? Because I have today off. I was like, sure, just take the pass you got. So like, I was like, oh my God. So freaking out. It was awesome. And uh, so I was like super excited about that. Then we started talking about movies and stuff like that. And I was like, yeah, man, I just, like, it would be so cool if I could just, you know, work with Christopher Nolan. He started laughing at me. And I was like, why are you laughing? He's like, oh, it's funny because I know Christopher Nolan. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. You know Christopher Nolan. He's like, oh, yeah, I've worked with him. We've had meetings before. He knows who I am. I know who he is. You know, like, he didn't say friends or anything like that, but he knows Christopher Nolan. I was like, I will literally do anything you ask if I can meet Christopher Nolan. And he laughed. And he's like, I, could, I mean, maybe. I'll see what I can do. Like, I'll, I'll see if we can't maybe make something happen. I was like, no, no, seriously, you don't understand. If you can make something happen, like, I will be the happiest kid in the world. And he's like, well, I'll definitely see what I can do. I don't know if it's going to happen. All I know is I am one person removed from Christopher Nolan right now. And that, oh, my God, if I could just meet Christopher Nolan. Oh, my God. So I'm freaking out already because now I can go on the studio lot and just walk around, which I did for like three hours today, and it was awesome. Pretty sure Bradley Cooper was sitting across from me at the commissary, the cafeteria. Um, but I can't be sure. And, uh, but it was friggin' awesome just to be there. And it was, oh, I was so excited. And then, then for him to tell me this, I was like, oh my, oh my gosh, like this is amazing. Um, so praying, hoping, oh my goodness, please let me meet Christopher Nolan. Seriously. And he's like, hey, have you seen the new Batman versus Superman? I was like, no. And he's like, here, gave me a copy of it freaking awesome so I'm gonna go home eat dinner and probably watch that tonight because I haven't seen it yet and he said it was good so um, and it was funny because I, I promised myself I wouldn't spend money for that movie and I didn't have to I didn't go see it in theaters mostly because I, I didn't have like I didn't really want to but also because I was moving when it came out so it was like I didn't really want to go see it while well, I was trying to move and everything like that and then there were other movies that I wanted to go see but then I didn't have to buy it either, because now I have it, and I didn't have to buy it. So, anyway, point is, I am one person in a way removed from Christopher Nolan. I am so excited. Like, you have no idea. Like, can you tell I'm excited? So this is, this is why it's been probably the best day. 
that I've had in a long time. And tomorrow, I have my interview for Kansas City's job, and so I'm I'm gonna do that. It should be interesting. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited. This best best day in LA, hands down. And technically, I was in Burbank. Best day in Burbank. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Anyway, I'm on my way home. I am going to go eat dinner and then I'm going to relax and do some laundry because I need to do laundry. And then I work tomorrow and I close tomorrow now. So we'll see what happens. So anyway, I'm going to drive home. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Oh my dude. The best, best day ever. And... Uh, as always, cool beans.